Hi everyone. Um, we are back doing this one more time and giving you inspiration for the, for today. Um, if this is the first time you're watching my episode on YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. If it's uh, if it's your second or third or your constant. Um, Viewer, thank you so much for your continued support. I couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, the comments that I get um, on the channel um, reinforces me uh, from time to time, um, actually not from time to time, all the time, is exactly what I know that I'm supposed to be doing is educating people and inspiring people. So this is what I'm here to do. Um, again, this episode is gonna be a fun one. I'm taking Swan as my lead. There's something about um, Swans that I really like. Uh, there's, a, there's a sense of romance and grace and just the way the curves of the necks of these Swans are, are just amazing. I've taken three containers. I have like four containers here, one that I, that I prepped um, and I've taken pearl balls on this clear vase that I've painted in white in acrylic and then with the adhesive individually put all these pearls on top of this container and then on top of that I have covered it with tools so it has this romance and softness to it. Um, as you can see maybe some of them are kind of loose um, Lucy Loose, um, but anyways, this is a great fun project to do. It takes a lot of time and a lot of product. Um, and so it's something really important. If you really want to do this, it's great. Um, you can, I, I did this, you can use it as a table centerpiece, uh, as the base. Um, you can use it for your buffet, for your bar, um, or you know, or even around your cake table. Um, and then I've used, I brought in some um, feathers, black and white feathers, and I'll tell you exactly what I'm gonna do with it. And then I have an assortment of very textural greens and flowers, things that are not normally seen in the supermarket or mass, um, uh, in mass, um, and even sometimes not even flower shops, right? So what I'm gonna do is, uh, is put these aside, uh, prep my containers, and then come back and work with these amazingness and uh, take it from there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with these feathers is I'm not gonna use it um, inside like this. I think with all these little flowers that I'm gonna do in my mind, I think this is gonna get lost in there, but what I'm gonna do most importantly is actually make, cut these apart like this. And what I'm doing is I'm taking some wooden um, hyacinth sticks and some wires. There's some that already come together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of thin wire and I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna twist this like this and cut off the excess of my wire. I don't know why I'm doing this right now, but I'll show it to you once you... I'm gonna try to do this with one hole. And you know sometimes you see it on the dresses? So with, uh, what uh, fashion designers do is they do the same process that I was doing and then they bind it together and they sew it onto dresses, uh, mostly wedding dresses because it has a lot of... Um, uh, frilly movement to this. Okay, I know this is not gonna be enough, but it's gonna be enough just to show you what I'm thinking in the video. So let me put these away, because I don't want them to get wet. I've already prepped a container, a floral foam in a loamy, in a plastic dish. So take this. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use those feathers in here. I'm gonna move this aside. And I've taken a floral foam, already pre-soaked it, but I have another one, dry one. I'm just doing it so it, this one doesn't move around. Um, and it's stable. 
So I'm gonna move this. And then I'm gonna take my flowers. I'm gonna do very loose, right? I'm gonna start with a lot of my textured flowers. And, if, and then I'm gonna take some gardenia leaves. I would say I'm probably gonna use about 10 to 12 different varieties of flowers in here. And that's okay, sometimes people are gonna be afraid. It's like, you're doing a lot of small, small flowers. Why aren't you putting like a big hydrangea in there to, to uh, get done faster or quicker, right? But here's the thing, is when you're making arrangements, each flower has a different importance and a different feel. So if you're trying to achieve a look and a feel, it's not necessarily using one particular flower just to get it done fast and quick, right? Because then the, the look that you're trying to achieve is not there. Let me take this. Oh my God, look at this. Come, come close, come close. Look at this. Nature is so beautiful. This is coming from Australia or New Zealand right now. Let's fill this up with this puppy. Don't ask me what it is. Don't ask me. I probably know the name of it. I'm just so exhausted mentally, but again, comes out of Europe. So don't be afraid, you know? There is no right or wrong in floral arrangement either. As long as you know, you know, the, the basics and the mechanics and covering up your mechanics, let yourself go, you know? You're an artist, it's, flowers are like paint. Your hand movement, your gestures, the, the arrangement or the compositions that you make is your art. at several events going on today. And in the middle of all these events is the day I decided to shoot YouTube videos. Uh, of course, that's my, my general life. Um, I tend to work constantly. Uh, people ask me, you know, how many hours do you work in a day? I don't think I stop in a day. Um, I'm constantly thinking of new ways of presenting things, um, new inspirations that are inspiring me to do these videos. Shopping, dealing with clients, dealing with design, dealing with the team. It's a lot going on on a daily basis in my life. See, this is so gorgeous. This is where it's gonna play. This little texture, look at what it's adding to the arrangement. It's, a, it's the element of surprise that, you know, obviously I'm gonna do it in the front, but I would do it in the whole composition. But look at what it does to the arrangement. It adds another layer of interest. Your eye wants to go there. That's the whole purpose is, right? It's all in the details. For me, I see the big picture. I see the whole thing happening, but it's also in the details for me. It's all about like what makes sense together. Is it texture, is it color, all of that. So let me push this aside, let me start on the swans, and then stylize it and tell you exactly how gorgeous that turns out to be. Show you, actually. So I decided that I wanted to use one of these swan containers. Um, this is a planter. This is one that one is made out of resin and the other one is uh, uh, plastic or fiberglass. Um, um. Anyways, but you know, the fun thing is, I don't want to show you always what is in line here is what necessarily I'm gonna be using here, here. So I have a surprise underneath the table that I've kept a secret that I'm gonna show you. Surprise! So these um, are dried preserved pieces. I'm going to take, uh, uh, there's three for each and I'm gonna use it, well there's four, but I'm gonna use three or four in each. And I'm gonna cut this very short. 
this swan one, you know, I was thinking, should I add fresh flowers? Should I not add fresh flowers? I think I'm gonna do this with a lot of uh, dried materials. I have some dried materials that I'm gonna pull out and then I'm gonna take some feathers as well, like the white feathers and mix it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just flip this around and I'm going to work on this dried and I'm layering it in front as you can see and then I'm taking these this bleached umbrella ferns gorgeous look at that isn't that amazing just like the the texture and the feel of it like the movement and the layering of it. I thought I was gonna keep it simple, but again, you know, I'm never completely simple. So I'm gonna take this again. Tight. Look at this, I'm gonna turn it around and I just can't believe just how like grand and opulent and old world this came out. I mean, between these two pieces, I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, you can style it like this and then, and um, bring in your swans and it's all about layering and detailing, right? You can even mix in some of the dried pieces in here too, to kind of um, mesh it together or even add some of the green elements in here and I can show you how to do that. Like even taking as simple as this, and you go back in. Of course, I would do this with water tubes, but just, you know, tucking this in with water tubes like this, what it's doing, it's starting to pull that in together. Of course, again, in water tube, don't forget, so that it'll last a little. So it's almost like you know, earthy and it's pulling it all together and it's all those elements. Let me stop the camera, let me fix this, get rid of all the excess, uh, extra flowers and accessories and I'm gonna style it for you so we can have this shot and present this to you beautifully. So, guys, um, I'm back. Um, obviously, you know, you, you see how my crazy mind thinks and um, I'm more of a, an experimental visionary designer that likes to do things kind of ordinary and out of the box. So again, thank you for coming and watching this episode. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share the videos, make comments, give me suggestions, and I thank you so much for your time again, um, and peace out.